This edition of Higher Ed Highlights comes from the Charles Young House in Xenia, where Chancellor Gardner and Lieutenant Governor John Husted joined Opportunities for Ohioans with Disabilities Director Kevin Miller to announce the expansion of the Ohio College to Careers program. The program provides a dedicated counselor on each participating campus, so students with disabilities can get career counseling and help with job searches and assistive technology. There are now 17 schools that are part of the College to Careers program, and the Charles Young House is a short distance from the two newest College to Careers campuses, Central State University and Wilberforce University. Presidents of both schools provided remarks as part of the announcement. In Wilberforce, we say uh, to our students, you matter, we care, you belong at Wilberforce. And today, we are expanding that to say to our students that are differently abled, that we recognize that you bring a wealth, that you bring a talent, that you bring a specialness, and you bring a uniqueness to the experience at Wilberforce and to every place and every life. Attendees also heard from students who are part of the College to Careers program at their respective campuses. The program currently serves nearly 1,000 students across Ohio. Also this week, the Department of Higher Education launches a statewide plan to prevent hazing at colleges and universities throughout the state. Materials in the plan were created in response to Senate Bill 126, also referred to as Collins Law, in honor of Colin Wyant, an 18-year-old man who died in a hazing incident in 2018. Collins Law, signed by Governor DeWine on July 6th, makes hazing a felony. ODHE's anti-hazing plan can be viewed online at www.ohiohighered.org slash hazing. Look for Higher Ed Highlights on the Ohio Department of Higher Education's YouTube page and through our Facebook page and Twitter feed. And check out our website at ohiohighered.org.